When are you gonna stop dressing like a girl, lol? I mean, I don't know. I kind of do wonder every now and then if I will stop when I'm like... I don't know, 40? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if I like stopped doing this as a job. I don't know. If I stopped doing this I, as like, I didn't do YouTube or anything like that. If I just decided I didn't want to do social media anymore, would I still do this? I don't know. I often wonder. You're gonna stop dressing that way when he feels like it? Yeah. I do wonder though, like how much streaming has affected it. I don't know. Yeah, I do wonder if I didn't stream, I don't know if I would do this. I'm not sure. I think it's fun, but I don't know if I'd have a reason to. You'd miss it, I would. Streaming made it easier. It's give, it gives you an excuse to. The thing is like, this feels different to like going outside or something. It, like doing this is very different. It feels so different to like, ah, oh, dude, okay, can I get a niche? This, this might be a niche crowd that will, that will um, get, what I'm, get what I mean here. This is probably a trans girl thing. Or fanboys. You ever do this shit on like Discord? Like on like a group call or something like that? Like you'd get dressed up for that? It's no fucking reason to. It's just for fun. But it feels very different than doing it in real life. It feels so different. Because you're chilling with friends and stuff. Even if your friends like invited you out and everything like that. It's so different doing this, like on camera, online, than it is in real life. I don't think I would do this. I wish I had those kind of friends back in the day. I had a lot. Um, are you a trans girl? I'm not. I'm a, I'm a dude, bro. But like, I had uh, like an awful lot of friends that would very, that would very much encourage me doing that. Like, essentially, like you guys. <laughs> Like, I had a lot of friends that would be like, oh, dude, fucking, you know, have you got, like, what about this outfit or something like that? And I'd do that. Or, um, I don't know. Like, I'd lose, I'd fucking, like, we'd play video games and every now and then, like, I'd lose a bet or something like that. And I'd do this. And then it just ended up, like, one of the reasons why I started streaming was with, um, someone called, oh, fuck, what is her name? Uh, there was a friend I had that I can't quite remember the name of because we don't speak anymore. Um... I don't remember, but she was, she was on stream, like, um, what's it called? Like, at the very, very start, and I started streaming on Twitch, doing the girl stuff and playing, like, CSGO on it, because of, like, a, a, a Laura, that was it. Because of a, like, a lost bet with a Laura. I said, like, oh, okay, I wanna stream on, I wanna stream on Twitch so I can get better at streaming in general. And she said, like, you should do it while cross-dressing, because that one video on Omegle got a lot of views. And I went, no, and then God knows what happened, but I ended up doing it. But like, it feels different with that than, than going out. So I, I wonder, what happened to gender fluid? Still there, but it's easier to say like, I'm a guy, I guess. Can I ask why you're taking HRT if you're a dude, bro? <laughs> the really easy answer is I just like what HRT does, I guess. Like, while I might not be like super, super confident on my like uh, identity and what I want it to be and what it is, I know that I like with what it, what HRT does, so I'm going to keep taking it. It's kind of the be-all end-all of that, because I want to answers a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> Top finisher sim, can I please have an Olympic-sized pool of your gender fluid? Christ. <laughs> this made me drug level happy, I finally feel right. Yeah, that's also kind of a thing that I got from it at the start, which was kind of nice. Like, the mental stuff changed a lot, like, not having testosterone in your system does change how you think a ton. My hair is nice and soft, my skin is nice and soft. Like all the stuff it does. If you were like a cis guy and you were taking HRT, you would probably fucking hate it. Like it does everything you wouldn't want. It makes you look more feminine, just generally. It, it redistributes your face fat. You'll look like more girly, like more of a fucking beta male. Um, you will grow booba. You will, uh, you fucking, you know, there's a lot of stuff that changes. Uh, your ass will get bigger, your waist will get a little smaller, you'll lose muscle mass, you'll feel a bit weaker, you'll like, your testosterone goes down, so everything that comes with that. Um, if you were cis, you would really, really hate the effects of HRT if you're a cis guy. If you, yeah, if you're cis and you like what HRT does, you're probably not cis. Yeah, you put it all. It's just that. I require it. <laughs> Honestly, I think the only thing that should ma ever matter is having the right hormones for brain structures and whatever body someone wants. Pretty much. So you're not cis then? No. I'm still working on it. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. I don't know, man. They're all just words at the end of the day. I don't know what the hell any of them mean. They're all just words. They mean nothing. Kind of just all how you feel about it. I think the words are just to describe it to other people. And I don't know enough about it to describe it to other people. My hair's so weird. <laughs> you don't get the tea rage. Those at someone else, but that fucking goes away. You're going to join the trend of playing dress to impress. Was it all over that one fucking TikTok? Play dress to impress with my baddies. Um, what? There's something cringe about playing dress to impress still. Like, dude, I've got to, like, that's the other one. i got to get over some shit, I'm, I'm sure. Um, because, like, I still find, uh, I still find some stuff, like, cringe, even though... <sighs> I don't know. I hate to admit this, man, but, like, if I was a girl, I'd be, like, a pick-me. I swear. I'd be like, dude, I don't get, I don't get these, these, these girly activities and shit. It's so cringe or whatever, and I hate that. Denialism arc. 
Oh my god. You mean like over the thing of they're all just words, or am I just talking? Do I just sound? Am I? Do I just sound like? I don't ever wear makeup. <laughs> I don't ever wear makeup. Gross. Like this is all just, all, just all natural. I don't wear makeup. That's so gross. That's for like girls and shit. It's like girly girls. That's not my thing. That's gross. My lips are just naturally this shiny, and my eyelashes are just this long, and skin radiant as hell. I have zero pores at any time. And it's just like these other girls that are just like so ugly, they just need to, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dang, you would sweep me. Bro. <laughs> oh, the oh, the glitter? That's just, it's just like a genetic thing. It just happens with me. I guess I just got lucky, Um, but you know. It's just how you sweat. I don't sweat, actually. That's crazy. It's, it's crazy you ask that, because I, I don't sweat. Like, ever. Like, it was actually just a condition that I was that I was born with. Um, That, like, I, I I just only... Like, I put on perfume once just to try it out, and I've just smelled like that ever since. I don't even need to, because, like, that's just how I smell now. My body just adapted to it. It wanted to smell pretty and great, and then it did, you know? But all these, you know, all these other girls, they just have to... They do this every, all the day. They're putting in so much work. Like, for what? I'm good at this. <laughs> Oh shit. Hey, sorry. What? Um, real bimbo brain. Holy shit. Those lashes, perfectly natural. Yeah, I just like, uh, yeah, I just, um, what I do, oh my god. What I do at night, I got, no, that's less pick me, that's just insane girl thing. What I was gonna say is like, I just manifest it. That's, that's like a Instagram girl sort of thing, right? I think the pick me is like, I just don't do anything. It's just so easy for me. You, you'd 100% be one of those- Oh my god, fuck. You'd 100% be one of those girls on podcast tearing down other women. Bro. Oh my god, girls, look. A Birkin bag. Like, who's she trying to impress? Like, dude, that's so cringe. I just put all my stuff in this little tote bag that I've had for the last 20 years. That pick me impression deserves a donation. Thanks. There's- I don't know what- what is the guy version of that? Is there a guy version of that- of the- what's a pick-me guy? Oh, is it- the pick-me guy is like, fuck it, give me any book. Hold on, let me do an impression of how easy it is to do that. Oh, what am I reading? Oh, uh, it's just this, uh, this book I picked up today, an hour ago, actually. I'm nearly done. Um, and I've learned an awful lot. It's, uh, it's one of the many feminist sort of books that I've been reading recently. It's called, uh, it's called Never Love a Man. <laughs> it's called Never Love a Man. And I just think as men we need to do way better. And, I don't know, I just, I just love women so much, you know? They just, they're the center of my life. It's, I love reading about this lesbian book that I'm reading. I didn't realize it, but, it, but it is. Uh, you know, I got, I got all the way through, but the thing is, I'm not even, I'm not, the thing is, I wouldn't know that because I'm not thinking about women as a sexual object. I'm looking at their sexual, you know, representation there. I'm just looking at how they feel about things. And, um, it just, it just doesn't come to mind. I, I see women as people, not objects. This might, okay, this might send you into an existential crisis. I love these questions. Please, give me more. Uh, so don't answer if it's not good. What would you feel like if you could not get eyelash extensions anymore? Ah, oh, fuck, like, like, what do you feel like, like, what do you feel when you see yourself without them? Oh, I just look weird. I just look strange. I look like a- I look like some stoner. I just look like some dude stoner guy. It's strange. Uh, I've got all photos of it. I think it would bum me out if I couldn't. They look cool. Then don't look at- wait, then don't look at the photos. Don't want you crashing down. Oh, no, 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 not like that. Um, do you look incomplete or wrong? <sighs> I- dude, okay, honestly, it's gonna be the same thing with, like, the HRT question. I just think I like looking pretty, you know? Um, I think it's cool. I don't know what that means for me, really. Fucking, I had a moment. <sighs> Do I want to talk about this? Yeah, fuck it, it's interesting. I don't know how big of a deal it is, though. I had a moment <coughs> when I was watching a uh, TV with Ashley at night. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, chat, you gotta... Okay, I had a moment when I was watching um, TV with Ashley at night, and we were talking about, like, uh, growing up trans or whatever, when, like, when she knew, blah, blah, blah stuff like that. And I kind of had it in my head, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, randomly throughout, um, like, childhood, or whatever. Um, yeah, like, people would put makeup on me, or whatever, and it was, it was cool. It was, it was, it was whatever, or, like, I'd cross-dress, or whatever. And it was, like, so young, I barely knew what anything was. And I had a moment of realizing, like, oh, shit. If I was, like, ten, or something, and I was, like, you know, I, like, if I, if I was, like, cross-dressing constantly, when I was, like, ten, or whatever, it can't be anything else. Like, there's no, like, way to say, like, oh, it could have just been, like, I don't know, product of your surroundings or something. Or, like, at, like, fucking 
Oh, dude, I remember, I, oh, dude, I remember going like, oh, shit, this is very transgender of me. <laughs> like, I, I never, I never thought about that before. I don't know why. I didn't want to cut my dick off. What the fuck was that comment? Um, but like, I wonder if people's brains just know their gender but refuse to say it. So I mean, this isn't gonna be a thing, is it? Th yeah, that's what I mean. I remember like, sitting in bed and just going like, oh, fuck. It was like a thing, man. Fuck. Christ. Oh, no. And there were no signs. Yeah, the, you were the, 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 there were no signs. And then like you look at like old pictures of me and it's like always me in like girl clothes or something or like with my hair tied up. Like, <laughs> oh God.